There's one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, Mike. Welcome back to another one, guys. I'm glad you could join us here today. Me and my buddy Mike, we're back here on the Tug Fork River, still chasing these smallmouth here in late October. As a matter of fact, it's October the 28th, and kind of mid-fall here. What I look for this time of year and try to follow is the weather patterns, and I'll tell you what, it has been warm all week. Seems like the nights just have got warmer each day, and when we woke up this morning, it was about 58 degrees, so everything is lining up just right here. Mike has already caught two on the buzz baits. You can see him over there. Doing okay, Mike? You ready to fish? I hear you, man. Yeah, and he's throwing that buzz bait. He likes uh, throwing at it, and he's already caught two on it. I've caught one on the swim bait. We're gonna throw a little bit of everything at them today, but again, one thing you look for is the timing and bait selection. So we're gonna to try to throw some bigger baits, try to get some big bites. Hopefully we can catch some size today, but we're gonna throw things like the spinner bait. If you guys have not seen our last adventure, Mike absolutely wore them out on the spinner bait. So if you haven't seen it, check that out. We caught a ton of fish. The spinner bait, it is an excellent lure to throw this time of year. So we will be throwing more of that today maybe some crankbaits if we can get into a little bit deeper water a lot of this is shallow and the water levels are extremely low but uh that's kind of the stuff we're going to be throwing swim baits crankbaits spinner baits buzz baits may even throw some top water hopefully we can show you how to catch smallmouth bass here in the fall and i know if we can catch them so can you just try using things like the spinner baits the crankbaits swim baits uh even jerk baits work great this time of year so i hope you join us today guys on this little adventure again we're on the tug fork river let's see if we can catch some more fish there's one uh-oh uh-oh oh yeah uh-oh, Mike. Got a good one, buddy. Uh, uh. All right, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. That's not a bad fish. Don't have a tape measure, guys, but that's at least 15, 16, maybe. I put him down by my rod. We'll get a measurement later. But let's let this fella go back. Not a bad fish. All right, buddy. Well guys, that was not a bad fish. I don't have my tape measure. I'll measure it when I do find mine. I just laid it up against my rod, but I'm gonna guess it was probably about a 16 inch smallie, maybe a couple pounds. Caught that on the white spinner bait. Right now I do have something different that I'm throwing. I'm throwing this four inch. I found this uh, diesel minnow Z at Walmart. This is a different color than the pearl I've been throwing, but this here is called the smelt color. I've got that on a one eighth ounce weighted hook and we're going to throw it for a little while been throwing that spinner bait and the only fish that i got on it was that uh that last one there it was about 16 i'm gonna guess at least 15 or 16 inches but uh just thought i'd switch it up go ahead and throw this z-man this new smelt colored swim bait and we'll see if we can catch one on it There's one. Yeah. Come out of there, mister. Not a bad little fish. Yeah. All right, guys, here makes number three. Beautiful little smolly here. About 11 or 12 inches, I would guess. All righty. Thanks for biting. Starting to feel really good out here, ain't it, Mike? Oh, yeah. I think it's going on about 11.30. It's been a little bit cloudy. The sun's been out a little bit. But hopefully the bite picks up. We'll move on up here and see if we can 
find us another spot you can kind of see what we're in just look at this i mean it's incredible as far as i can see but uh, me and mike's going to hit this he's got the spinner bait on i have the swim bait on we're going to see if we can catch a few more Oh, damn, he come back for it. Ah, wasn't a big hit. Look here, I have to fix my... Hey, that's a good thing, man. I'll do this all day. As long as them... As long as they hit. I love it, color. You get him? Look here, Mike went and got my fish, man. Good deal. Hey, we got three piece, man. Yeah. You ain't had that spinner bait on long, have you? All right, guys, maybe the bite is picking up. That's two fish here back to back pretty quick. All right, guys, we are moving up the river here. It is about 12 o'clock. I think we've caught a total of six fish, three apiece. Mike's still got the spinner bait on, and uh, I've still got this swim bait on, but I'll show you what we're getting ready to get into, guys. Good looking hole right over through here all the way up, man. Again, it's going on noon. It's definitely started to pick up. Feels a lot warmer, don't it, Mike? It's a good spot he's in over. I got a big lay down, big tree in the water. We're gonna work that all the way up, guys. Beautiful section of the Tug River. And we're just gonna go as far as we can today. We're gonna make the most of this trip because this may be our last smallmouth trip. You never know. So stay tuned, guys. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Oh, yeah. Get you one? Was that around that tree? Uh, tree. Mike with an, uh, another one, guys. That's number four. Second one on the spinner bait, huh? All right. At least a little bit more action. All righty, man. I turn my back and Mike hooks up with another one. Heck yeah. Bringing in number five. He's put a hurting on me. Third one on the spinner bait. I may just have to go back to that, huh, Mike? Did you get him? Mike pulling another one out. Coming off that high wall. Number six, man, he's doubled me up now. Like I said, guys, the beginning of the video, Spinner baits is an excellent lure to be throwing this time of year. We're just trying to mix it up. I just want to throw something a little different than he's throwing. And uh, so far, what he's throwing working. I've caught one on this swim bait. We're going to give it a little while here, and we may switch. But uh, we're in some excellent water right there. Was a right there was a little hit, man. That felt like a little rock bass, but. Uh, well, I was saying we are in some excellent water here. I think he's caught three right off that high wall, ain't you? Yeah. Fix my bait here, guys. We'll get back in business. Now, this uh, Z-Man plastic, you can pull that up over the keeper. You can kind of see how I've got this hooked on this weighted hook, but uh, you can't hardly tear this stuff up. I think Mike's caught him another. Found him in a little pocket. I'm going to go up here and catch up with him. If he did, I think that would... Make number seven for him, man. He's smoking me, but we'll go up here. I think he did catch another one. But looks like the sun is out for now, guys. I'll tell you what, it's warming up. It's feeling really good. I'm hoping that bike picks up. I think Mike's doing pretty good. I think that made number seven to my number three. But, hey, that does make ten fish so far, so it's not too bad, not too bad. Guys, there's pockets up through here. You can kind of see the terrain we're in. This is mostly rock, but they are pockets. There's some deep holes. And that's kind of what you look for in this situation. That's usually where the fish are going to go this time of year. Look here. The man just keeps catching them. You're catching them so fast, I'm going I'm to lose count. But I think that makes number eight. Let's go check this out, man. You bringing that secret weapon out again? Mike, you're almost in double digits, buddy. That's number eight. 
That, that is not a bad fish. He's caught two fish on on my way up here just to. That's a heavy little fish, man. Yeah, it's a healthy fish, man. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. It's probably 13, maybe 14 inch. Yeah, it's Yep. That's a good fish, man. Not bad. Yeah, I feel that thing. I mean, for a little chunky fish, feel the weight on it. Yeah. That little thing's got some weight on it. I, I guarantee you it's a pound. Oh, I guarantee you. Maybe a pound and a half. A pound and a half, I'd say. Guys, we're going to let this one go back. It is a, not a bad fish here. Again, on the spinnerbait. There we go. There we go. Trying to keep him out of them rocks. No, he's not bad. That about spit an image of what you caught. This is about to like what you caught, dude. Hey, this might be his brother. No, I think yours is a little bit bigger. Yours is a little bit bigger, but guys, that's probably 11, 12. I say Mike's was about 13 or 14. But we finally landed number four. I'm catching up, Mike. We'll send you home, buddy. Get him? All right. Yep. That's what we want. Ain't it? I think you've caught about 11 or 12 now. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, it's not bad at all. Beautiful little fish. There's one. That yeah. That might be enough fish to come up under here. That probably was. Drag was a little loose, but we got him. I think yours is bigger, Mike. <laughs> it's all that matters, ain't it? Having fun, guys. That's what it's all about. I'd say he's about 11. All right, guys. There's another one. I think that makes number five for me. Guys, I'll show you what I'm using here. Did kind of switch it up. I have a different. This is just a one-bladed spinner bait, but I do have a one-eighth ounce Mini King Strike King spinner bait here. That's what we caught that fish on. Mike's catching them on that. In fact, we've caught two here pretty quick. Just getting back into the water. We are at a different location. As you can see where we're at, we do have a few leaves on the water. But guys, we're going to make our way all up through here and go just as far as we can go. Mike up there with another one, man. He's tearing them up, that's for sure. Just not a whole lot of size today. We've caught a few decent fish, but we've caught a lot of smaller ones as well. But hey, it's the last of. October here, it's a blessing just to come out here and to be able to fish and not only fish, but catch them, which we have today. Mike's caught so many, I've actually lost count, but I know he's caught probably 12 or 13. And I've caught five, we're closing in on 20, so that's not a bad day. And like I say, it's not over yet. I'd say it's about 2.30, maybe something, till three. I want you to look. Look at this. That ain't no Good fish. one. That's 13 inch fish, brother. There you go. That was about four or five followed that in. We'll throw it back out. I don't, that was half a dozen, wasn't it? Let's see if we can catch another one here. Mike cooked that one. They was about, I don't know, they was at least four or five. Just come from nowhere, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Come here. The white spinner bait is getting it done today. Yeah, man. Bad little fish for Rachel Another healthy mouth. smallmouth. I did get bumped, though. We'll throw it back over there. There he is. Got him at time. He's not a big one. It's probably that same little one a bit. He's a fish. He's number six if I can get him in here. He might be six inches, but oh well. 
I'll take him. I'll take you, Mr. Smalley. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, my drag's a little loose for some reason. I tightened it up, but this little fish shouldn't be pulling my drag out. But he is a little bigger than the last one, but not by much. All right, guys, here's number seven. I'm catching up with you, Mike. Better look out, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Told you, Mike, I'm going to catch up with you, buddy. I'm trying to wait on you. I am at that number eight. Yeah, come in here, buddy. Yeah, I think this might be a little bit better, but he's not big. Is this another rock bass? Remember what I told you I caught here the other day? Did I catch the same rock bass? You heard me tell you that, didn't I? I was just telling Mike that I had fished this area earlier in the year and at this exact spot i caught a red eye and i don't know we'll never know if this is the same red eye but guys there is number nine and this is something different i think it's the first red eye of the day ain't it see you buddy on camera buddy all right sitting here changing batteries and mike hooks another one yep it's another 14 probably, ain't it? Oh. There you go. Quick, Thank you, buddy. Later, Smiley. Yeah, it wasn't a bad fish. I thought that was a tank. Yeah, when I set the hook, I went, oh. They're hitting it hard today, man. All right, guys, it is about 4 o'clock. Me and Mike are in a different spot, but we are covering some ground. So we probably got, I'd say, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half left before we wrap it up but guys I, I think i've caught about nine mike's caught about 15 we've caught over 20 some fish but as you can see man we're gonna try to catch you this evening by again about another hour hour and a half left just take a look at some of this water I'm telling you beautiful day here on the tug fork river for october the 28th mike's just up above me and i'm gonna go up here and i'm gonna try to catch up with him we've got a few more holes we're gonna fish but guys it has been a pretty good day kind of pan around here and show you what's behind us that's the way we've came i'll tell you bite's been on today but we've not caught much size i did catch that one 16 incher i did measure that through my phone uh, you do have an app on most iphones that will measure distance and i guessed that that bass was about 16 and that's exactly what it was mike has caught some solid fish uh definitely caught some numbers caught some uh 14 probably 15 inch size fish but we're going to keep at it here guys and we have been wearing them out here on the white spinner bait i think mike is going to keep it on that's what i'm throwing we're going to live or die by it and so far it has been good to us today so we'll probably finish out with the white spinner bait with the time we have left so i hope you guys stick with us here uh, and maybe we can catch that big one before we call it quits but if we don't i'll tell you what i've had some fun i know mike has has had some fun so uh we're going to stick it out here another hour, maybe an hour and a half, maybe fish to 5 or 5.30, and we'll wrap it up. But guys, stick with us here. Let's see if we can catch that big one. Yeah. About time. About time. Fighting for no bigger than he is. There you go, buddy. You happy? That's gonna be a good one. There you go. Me and Mike sitting here talking about boxing. He's a uh, catching fish. Yeah, but it should be a good fight later on. Yeah, be a good fight. I like boxing. 
bastard got hands on him, don't he? Never watched him box, but. Got him. Now you gotta watch that replay of him and Dante Wilder. When he knocked Dante Wilder out. I'll have to check it out. Hey. You hook him that time? You got, a, you got a rock bass, dude, don't you? Yep. Another rock bass. It's two rock bass today, and seventeen, Mike. There he is. All right, it's about time. Reckon he'll stay hooked? No. All right, ain't bad. All right, guys, there's one more add to the list. Yep. Yeah. We've caught a we've caught a few of these today, ain't we? Later, Smiley. Get one. All right. Mike, if you keep going, buddy, you just might break 20 by yourself. Yeah, that's a good fish, man, right there. Let's go check him out here. Yep, that's another pretty small mouth. what I was saying there a while ago. Hopefully we can show them how to catch some smallmouth today. You just throw the spinner baits, buzz baits, swim baits. Right there's what happens, guys. A nice one. Tell you what, we've been on them today, that's for sure. We've made up a caught the biggest size, but we've definitely caught the numbers for sure. Closing in on 30 fish here, man. That's, that's not bad here for the end of October. It looks like a Mike. If you can get him in. One man catch 20 fish by yourself. Guys, the beginning of the video when I told you we are going to show you how to catch smallmouth bass in the fall. Right there's a man showing you how to do it. Number 20. <laughs> well, you've doubled me, and I thought 11, you know, that's a pretty decent day, but uh, that's what happens, guys. These spinner baits is no joke in the fall. We're showing you that today. We're, that's why we're going to finish with it. They've been good to us today. I think I've caught six more fish since I've come back out this afternoon. You probably caught more than that. Bite started kind of slow, but I'll tell you what, as the days went on, that bite has picked up, ain't it? since it's warmed up a little bit. Well guys, we are gonna call it a day. It's about five o'clock, me and Mike are headed back to the truck and wow, what a day. If I told you, or if someone told me that we was gonna catch 30 plus fish today, I probably would have said you're crazy, but that's exactly what we did. Mike caught 20 of them by himself. I caught 10 or 11. But I tell you what, that is an excellent day. The only I guess you could say disappointments. We didn't really hook any big fish other, say the biggest being that 16 inch, Mike caught some solid 13, 14, 15 inch range fish, several of those, but hey, other than that, we can't complain, can we, Mike? Oh, For it to be the end of October, October 28th, we do have a cold front moving through after this. That's why we thought we'd come out here today and hit it, and I'm glad we did, because this might be our last trip, you never know. Might be another trip or two still left. We'll just have to watch those weather patterns and see. But uh, it's been good to us today. What do you think about it, Mike? Absolutely, buddy. It's been a great day. Catching 20 fish by yourself. Yeah, it was a good day. That's if a great... we, if it, like I said, if this is our last day of the year, I'm happy with it. There you have it, guys. I'll tell you what. This is one of these places that we're going to definitely be back in the spring. I actually can't wait for April to get here because we'll be back in this area. We're going to be fishing the Tug River a lot more. So I hope you guys join us when that happens. I hope you enjoyed the video. Me and Mike definitely enjoyed the day out here on the water. And uh, 
if we don't catch any more smallmouth or get the opportunity, maybe we'll be catching some more trout here before long. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here from the Tug Fork River. We will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.